everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you a 1.12 seed that I found and turned into a set C glitchless seed. I actually found the seed in my YouTube recommended. After watching the video, I saw that there was a 12i seed in 1.12, just like the SSG seeds in 1.16 and 1.14. I decided it would be fun to make my own SSG seed, and so I did. In this video, I'm going to show you how to route the seed. Come in near an ocean, facing either towards the ocean or up here, but generally facing towards the ocean. However, you're going to want to run over to a dark oak tree and get four pieces of wood. Sometimes there's a creeper that spawns over here. If there is, try to get it to explode to get you more wood. Over here is where you get your iron. You need iron for a pickaxe, shears, a bucket, and a flint and steel. So you're going to need nine pieces of iron for this room. You're, you should only get um, two, and then put it in your furnace that you're going to craft with the stone. That way you can cook it, and also craft an axe, because now you're going to go run over to here, and mine some wood. You're gonna, it, the amount of wood you need to get dep really depends on how good you are at fighting the dragon, because in this version, the dragon doesn't perch. The dragon does this weird kind of diving thing, it like charges the uh, chalice in the middle. So you can't really one cycle it, you need to do the 1.14 original way to kill it. This means that you're going to have to take down all the pillars before you start fighting it. So once you get all of your wood, you want to run back here, finish mining the iron, and get your shears. And then you can shear these sheep. Again, the amount of beds that you get really depends on how comfortable you feel with them. Generally, I got three or four, just because that was easier for me. While you're out shearing the sheep, also kill chickens and cows for feathers and food. <clears throat> Over here you can get your iron for arrows and the flint and steel. Once all of your food iron, and iron is cooked, and you have your flint and all your other resources, you're going to want to go over to here and mine down. At Y13, you're going to find three diamonds. You need the iron pickaxe to mine these. And you're going to build up to Y21 and mine west. Here you're going to find your lava pool. Once you're done building your portal, you need to douse all of the lava and then use your newly crafted diamond pickaxe with the diamonds that you got to mine out 10 obsidian. After this, you're going to go into the portal. Once you're into the portal, you're going to want to run over here to the ledge, mine this block, mine this block, and just hop over to here. Next, you're going to just follow the route that I'm going. You're going to need a lot of extra gravel, so even if you rolled however many flint that you need uh, consecutively, you still want some gravel as building blocks. If you want to, you can also mine netherrack or soul sand as your building blocks. Once you get here, you want to build up here, then build up again, and then run over this and then run over this way. Once you're here, you need to build a bridge over to this island. Once you're here, you need to find the coordinates 50, um, sorry, 56, 
negative 283. Once you're there, build your portal. You're going to want to blind at at 83 at 57 8 to negative 283 the lower you go is better but i found that this was the easiest way to get there you could also kind of go down here once you're blind you're probably going to blind on top of this tree once you do you need to run to 450 negative 2,264. Once you're there, you'll also need to place a block here so that the water doesn't flow and dig down. A little bit down, you're going to fall into this ravine, and then you're going to want to run over to this lava area. Now, if you see spiders, killing them is most likely faster. I just normally went to the library. So you're going to want to get down there, generally by pouring water somewhere around here. You do it right here, and then getting down to this library. In here, you're going to want to break in and get three string for a bow. You can use a sword or you can use your water bucket, whichever one works for you. Once you're done with that, you need to build out of here or f uh, climb up your waterfall and go over here get across this lava, and find the chords 450, negative 264 again. Once you do, dig straight down. In a little bit, you'll fall into the portal room and see that there are 12 eyes. Jump into the portal and begin your dragon fight. This dragon AI is really weird and pretty hard, so I would, I would suggest definitely doing crystals instead of just trying to kill the dragon without them. You can't one cycle because once the dragon perches, it doesn't... I'll, sh I'll show you how the dragon perches. So as you can see, the dragon doesn't really perch, it just kind of dives down at the pillar. This makes one cycling impossible, however you can still place beds and to hit the dragon like this. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to get notified when I start streaming and when I upload on YouTube, join my Discord server.